when Peter says the world needs a new Iron Man, I can't be the only one that was like, boy, I think I think they're setting something interesting up here from the comics, and it's probably related to Norman Osborn. Let's let's talk about this. So for those of you that don't know, Norman Osborn, the Green Goblin, um, if he's that character at all in this uh, iteration when he appears, is probably going to be a big deal for the MCU going forward. I've talked about this in videos and how I was told that the MCU is going in two different directions, specifically one more cosmic, one more street level, and Spider-Man is going to kind of headline the next phase of street level. This would make a lot of sense with Norman Osborn. Now, at the same time, you realize that Norman, if he's coming into the MCU, and I have no doubts he is, he's probably the one that bought Oscorp Tower, or where Oscorp Tower is going to be with Avengers Tower, right? So, when Peter says the world needs a new Iron Man, I wasn't the only one that was thinking, wait a second, I think they're literally setting up what's going to happen that's kind of like the comics, where Norman Osborn literally becomes the new Iron Man, or he was Iron Patriot, but he was leading a team of more ruthless, darker Avengers, hence why there's a Dark Avengers script is, you know, in development in Hollywood. We know this for a fact, and that was one of the things they wanted to explore. So if you kind of line up all the pieces, it makes a lot of sense, right? The world needs a new Iron Man. Who's going to take it up? Well, guess what? There's this new playboy billionaire who just happens to buy Avengers Tower and he's retrofitting it. Oh, he also has his own suit. Maybe resembles Iron Man a little bit. Maybe it doesn't. But you kind of get where I'm going with this, right? It, it kind of makes a lot of sense at a base level. And honestly, that would be quite a wake-up call if Peter comes back from his field trip and suddenly here's Norman Osborn. And he's like, hey, Spider-Man, the world needs a new Iron Man, right? Let me, uh, let me take you under my wing. He comes off nice at first, but we know that's not going to last. And that kind of sets up the next phase, Spider-Man 3 leading into Dark Avengers, and you can literally play that up in a good way. And I think the opportunity is there, and I'm willing to bet that that's probably the direction they're going in, considering all the things we know are in development and uh, what Sony has scrapped on their own solo side. It just seems too good to not do it. 